<sighs> We've been here for a while now. It's strangely quiet. He's strangely quiet. I guess even Papyrus can slow once in a while. It's novel, though. Novel is good. A novel Papyrus is better. You know, it's been a while since I did something like that. Hmm. Hey, Papyrus? Yeah? You're my favorite skeleton. Of course I am. You're my favorite magical talking flower. Ah, shucks. If I had blood, I'd be blushing right now. A flower with blood sounds pretty gross, Flowey. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty messed up. <sighs> Papyrus can always surprise me like no one else. No need to rush this. Papyrus, we're friends, right? Yes, we're great chums. I'm glad. Um, is something on your mind, friend? Because I'm a great listener. As a matter of fact, yes, there is something on my mind. I was just thinking about how tough you are. Really? Yeah, I feel really safe hanging out with you. You want to know a secret? Did you know I wasn't always a flower? Get out of town! Really? Yeah, yeah silly goose! There's a reason there's no other magical talking flowers around here, you know. I used to be a really strong monster. A really rare, special one. I was a boss monster. Wowee! I know, right? Don't tell anyone. I bet you're wondering how a boss monster ended up as a little old flower, huh? It's a super big secret, so I'll whisper it to ya. I died. Uh, crazy, huh? I should have disappeared, but I got stuck here, in one of the flowers I fell onto when I died. Don't ask me how. I could see my own dust around me when I woke up. That's awful. Yeah. A bunch of humans came after me when I was just a kid. They beat me to death. Oh my god, no! Sad, huh? That's the saddest thing I've ever, ever heard! Nah, the real kicker is that I was strong enough to have easily killed them. I could have wiped that miserable village off the face of the earth! Sorry, it's a sore spot. I'm sure you understand. Getting murdered is no fun at all, gosh! I... I bet not. I didn't believe in fighting back then. I was just a kid. A nice kid. You weren't born yet, but I bet if you had been there with me, you'd have protected me for sure. Absolutely! No way would I, the Great Papyrus, have let those humans harm you. How could they have done something so terrible to a child? The world is a cruel, cold place, Papyrus. It's kill or be killed out there, you know? I didn't want to believe it, and look where Mercy got me. You always pull your punches, too. I don't know how strong you are for sure. Could you really have saved me? Could you have killed them? Or would you have made the same mistake I did? I... I don't want to bum you out, Papyrus. I'd like my sad fate to do some good in the world, you know? I told you my secret because I thought it might help you. Help me? I don't follow you. Well, silly. I want you to learn the lesson I died to learn. We're going to try a little exercise, if you don't mind. I, um... I think I mind... a lot, if it's all the same to you. I'm going to attack you, Papyrus. For real. And I want you to fight me. I want you to fight me for real. I want to see what you can do when you don't pull your punches. I, I don't want to fight you. I know you don't, friend. But if you don't, then I'll have to find another way to teach you the lesson. Now, I know the great Papyrus wouldn't dream of running away like a coward, would he? Because that would disappoint me. Please, please don't. We're, we're friends, aren't we? Of course we are, you silly goose. You are my favorite, after all. Now, are you ready to fight like your life depends on it? Because guess what? It does. Good boy. Good boy. You did much better than I expected. I'm still sensing some hesitation, but I think you've made some real progress. Don't you? Friend, you can stop fighting me now. There we go. See? As long as you keep pleasing me like this, you'll be perfectly safe, Papyrus. Boy, 
You got a little banged up, huh? Let me take care of that for you. All better. I fixed your clothes, too. Now, I know you train with Undyne, and you practice three hours a day like a good boy. I'd like us to keep having this special practice a few times a week, just to give you the edge you need. Sound good? You want to be in the Royal Guard, don't you? I... Of course you do. Not running away. Even staying quiet. We are making progress. I don't want you to be afraid of me, Papyrus. Seeing you succeed and get what you want would make me happy. Because I'm your friend. Isn't that right? Yes. From here on out, just remember that I'm doing all this because you're my cool and great friend. Okay? Yes. And you're going to be even cooler and greater with my help. Yes. <laughs> Papyrus, are you just agreeing with me so I'll let you go? Yes. <laughs> you're so honest. I've always liked that about you. It's okay, friend. I know this is a lot to get your head around, and you're not used to thinking big thoughts. Why don't you go home and rest, huh? You earned it, champ! Hey, Papyrus? Remember that you're keeping my secret. If you blab, I'll have to tear you up into itty bitty pieces. And I'll do the same thing to anyone you tell. Got it? I got it. Good! Well, nighty night! Oh, yes! I'm sorry, <laughs> Undyne. I'll get you a new one. Who cares about the dummy, dummy? That was hardcore! Woo! Yeah, uh, woo. I sure did some property damage, all right. Hell yeah, you did. Man, that dummy got wrecked. You know, I really didn't mean to hit that hard. Undyne thinks bigger is always better. And that's totally true for some things, like parties and spaghetti recipes. But magic is different. Magic should only do what you tell it to do, not more. What if instead of the dummy standing across from me, it had been... I don't want to hurt anyone. Hey, don't worry about that, Paps. But I... I want to get a picture of the impact zone to put on the fridge. So let's just leave it for a while, yeah? Hmm. Uh... That's it. I've made my decision. You've really buckled down this last month. Don't think I haven't noticed how hard you've been working. To be honest, I was holding out on making you a guard because I couldn't be sure you could take care of yourself. No offense, but I'd feel like total crap if I sent you in unprepared and you got hurt or something. I understand, Undyne. But you've really proven how serious you are about this, Papyrus. After seeing the burning, righteous passion you showed me today, I feel like it just isn't right for me to deny your dream anymore. You've got the right stuff. So you're in, buddy. I'm swearing you into the Royal Guard right now. Undyne, I... What? Really? Yes, Ooh. really. You can start screaming and jumping up and down any time, Paps. Uh, that wouldn't be very godly behavior. I'm super stoked, Undyne, really. On the inside. But why aren't I screaming and jumping right now? I'm happy, right? My dream's coming true. I should be overjoyed. Then why can't I feel any joy? The cool facade that hides the tempest in your soul. I can respect that. Just don't get too stoic and brooding. That's my style. The great papyrus would never bite his friend's style, Undying. Uh, sir? Ma'am? Commander? Ah, oh, come on. You can just keep calling me Undying. Now are you ready to get sworn in or what? Stand up straight. This shit's serious. Do you, Papyrus of Snowden Town, solemnly swear on your very life to fight for King Asgore and the monster race, to uphold justice, to defend the innocent and wimpy, to seriously kick evil's ass 12 ways from Sunday everywhere, all the time from now until you're dead in the cold, cold ground? I do. Am I getting married? Excellent. Okay, you're a card now. Wowee, that was fast. 
Tomorrow I'll get you kitted out, all right? It, yes! Right. Well, you'll want to tell your brother the good news and get your party on with your Snowden buddies, so we'll call it good for the day. I gotta find some armor to fit your skinny ass. I'm so pumped for you, Paps. Did I scare you? Gee, I'm sorry. Y you simply startled me, that's all. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I'm glad. How was your trading session, champ? Anything major happen? Good. Um, I I'm a god now, so that's good. That's great news, Papyrus. She changed her mind just like that? Guess I'm a pretty good coach, huh? Yeah, so... Mission accomplished? We can go back to normal and chill and talk about neat stuff. I'll part ways forever, that's fine too. Aw, oh, friend! You're more ambitious than that! This is just the beginning of your career. You can do way better than just being a lowly guardsman. Hmm. I think we should move our special practice to tomorrow night, yeah? You deserve a night off for doing such a good job. Thanks, Flowey. You're welcome, friend. Just don't stay up too late. I want you good and rested up for our new training regimen. <sighs> oh, and I sure hope that wasn't a load bearing while you put that big honking crack in. Gosh! Yeah, I don't know how that happened. It just kind of got away from me. Nonsense! You're just getting stronger, that's all. Sure impressed me. Undyne too. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing you two weren't sparring today or she would have gotten hurt real bad, huh? Nighty-night! Looks like Undyne picked out the smallest pieces for me. They still need adjustment, don't they? Morning. You're up early? <laughs> Headache woke me up. Partied a little too hardy, I guess. What I don't get is how you're always fine, even though you drink maybe twice a year. I'm kind of jealous. I'm in much better shape than you are, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> ah, jeez. It's like hammers on my skull. Believe me, bro, I'm well aware you're in shape. I'm... Shapes. <laughs> Hmm. Is that your new kit? Yes, Undyne dropped it off this morning. She sure doesn't waste any time. No, some people don't. Hmm. You're awfully quiet. You okay, bro? You have a hangover. <sighs> Come to think of it, you've been quiet for a few weeks now. Man, this stuff's fiddly, isn't it? And heavy. I'll get used to it. Thanks, Sans. I can get the rest. Seriously, though, you seem kind of down, especially for a guy who just got his dream job and all. I must inquire about your mental well-being, bro. It's a lot more responsibility than just being a sentry, Sans. Uh, inquire? Because I helped you with your armor? Nothing? Oh, right, that's terrible, I have no brother, etc. Why won't you tell me what's eating you? Nothing is. I'm fine, I'm just tired. Sans! No, listen, you're acting really off and it's weirding me out. We're family, we don't... We, we don't keep things from each other. So, I'll ask you again. What's going on with you? <sighs> oh, that's rich! So, I'm supposed to be peppy and cheerful all the time, am I? I'm not allowed to have a bad day! You're the one who sleeps 12 hours a day! You're the one who stumbles around unwashed and half-dressed all the time! Stop! You don't do anything unless I physically shove you outside, and even then you put forth the absolute minimum effort you can get away with! Stop! Something's wrong with me! When's the last time you washed those clothes? When's the last time you showered? You smell like wet dog hair and feet! God, why can't I stop? Why won't I just shut up? I'm the one with the problem! You can't even- No! You refuse to take care of yourself! You refuse to take anything seriously! You think I want to drag you along by the wrist for the rest of our lives? You think I want to be the one keeping you going day in and day out? I should be asking what's wrong with- I should- Please. 
Please, stop. I'm... I need to start my patrol. Yeah. Guess I should get ready for work anyway. No. You should stay home today. Better you fall asleep here than at your station. Wow, looking sharp, Papyrus! Ugh! Of course he'd say the same thing as everyone else on the way here. Not that those compliments felt good anyway. So, I couldn't help but overhear you reading your brother the riot act earlier. That's between my brother and me. If you ask me, you were completely in the right. It wasn't my place to say anything, but I thought for a long time now that he takes advantage of your kind nature. Not that I think he means to, don't get me wrong, but that guy has some serious issues, don't you think? Maybe he'll do some thinking thanks to your intervention. Yeah, he'd do some thinking on what a jerk his brother was. I don't know why I was acting like that. Once I got going, I couldn't stop, and the things I was saying were so... mean. A family isn't a family without a lot of pent-up resentment and bitterness, Papyrus. Relax! Besides, sometimes the truth only sinks in when it's harsh. Sad, but true. I think you of all people would get that, right? Well, I won't keep you, Garsman Papyrus. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much, okay? It's his problem that he's wasting his life, not yours. Oh, and don't forget our practice tonight, huh? Wear your armor. <sighs> it can't go on like this. I need to figure out what Flowey wants out of all this so I can get him to stop. All I wanted was to get into the guard. Why are we still continuing? Unless he just likes beating on me for its own sake. But... Flowey's just a child, right? He's gone through such horrible things, and he must have been alone for so long. Perhaps he just doesn't know how to behave. Maybe I can talk with him tonight. Flowey isn't being a very good friend, and something has got to change. It'll be scary to stand up to him. But I've got to try. I don't want to hurt anyone. Do you ever wonder what the real stars look like, Papyrus? Sometimes. My mother and father told me that the real stars move. They said that the sky turns like a wheel, and the stars all turn with it. But it's too slow to really see. Oh. They just spin in circles above the Earth, over and over. They always end up back where they started. They never really go anywhere. So, this is the first time Papyrus has actually joined the Royal Guard. Well, the first time where the Guard still means something. Come closer, friend. I want to get a better look at you. It's kind of mismatched, but it's a good start. Ah. I actually wanted to talk to you about something before we, you know, got started. Oh? If it's about this morning, don't worry about it, friend. I know how siblings can be. Mine used to get me into all sorts of trouble, you know. No, it's about what you said yesterday. I was kind of hoping that we could... Go on, friend. If you have a request, then go right ahead. This training is for your benefit, after all. I was really hoping that we could just stop this now. I mean, I'm in the Royal Guard, and that's honestly all I wanted, and I'm very grateful for your help, but I'd very much like this to end because I don't like it at all, and I'm upset and nervous all the time, and I'm worried that something is going to go wrong, and it'll be my fault, and- Papyrus, Papyrus, shh. I'm going to go ahead and stop you now, okay? It was very brave of you to say that to me, Papyrus. You... You mean you're not angry with me? Oh, Papyrus, there's no need for me to be angry, is there? You're my friend, and I care about you. Does this really make you so unhappy? I know you're hurting. I know you suffered things you didn't deserve, and I can't imagine what it must feel like to be in your position. But you must stop. If you're my friend, I know you can do better if you try. I'm sure of it. I'm truly very sorry to hear that you feel that way, Papyrus. Can I ask you one question? Did you 
think you were in control. I'm glad you're grateful for what I've done for you, Papyrus. Because you'll have much more to be grateful for when we're done, which will be what I say, not you. Never you. Please, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this. You don't say no to me, friend. On your feet, Garthman, and ready your magic. Better. And remember, Papyrus, for your life. <laughs> Gotta get out of there. The way. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? What are you doing, Papyrus? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Idiots! Why did you stop attacking? You, you were hurt! You I'm... dare! You really think you're any danger to me, you worm! Attack! Please, you're hurt! You, you can't ask me to. You would refuse me again! You're really trying my patience tonight, friend! You're forgetting your lessons! Please! 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 I think you need a refresher. You need some course correction, Papyrus. Get on your knees. I don't want you to fall and hurt yourself. Give me your arm. Your arm. Don't struggle. No! 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 You keep no, saying no, that no, to no, me, Papyrus. No! 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 Please! No! 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 Stop saying that word to me, Papyrus. <laughs> a member of the Royal Guard wouldn't cry about a broken arm. But I won't tell anyone. <laughs> now that you're a guardsman, you need a new carrot, right? New goals. I bet you 20 gold that you could replace Undyne in six months. What do you say? <laughs> I know that sounds like a stretch, but you can do anything you set your mind to, friend. I believe in you. I want your cats and you'll be close to King Asgore. Won't that be neat? You just stick with me, Papyrus. I'm gonna make you a hero. You're gonna be a legend. Huh? Was I too loud? Nah. I woke up and I could see my floor. Thought we got robbed. <laughs> Laundry bandits. Not on my watch. You left your door unlocked, so... You know you don't have to do that, bro. Eh, I don't mind. There's coffee on the counter. You'll have to warm it up. So? <sighs> oh, shit. Um... I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything I said. I'm... I'm sorry. Bro, it's okay. You want me to get you some tissues, or...? Or not. I mean, it's still cleaner than it started out, right? It's a net gain. You feel better? You know I'm always right here, right? But if you need me to back off and give you some space for a while, that's fine too. 
Someone I talk to him now and then says that uh, people can get depressed after something really good happens to them. Like, sudden success can actually make him feel kind of lost, like they don't know what comes next. I don't know if she's right or not. Sounds kind of backward. That must be it. So, uh, I'm not trying to freak you out, so don't cart me off to the doctor or anything, but have you ever just lost a few seconds? Like, the world skips like a scratch CD? Huh? It happens to me sometimes. It happened last night, in fact. At, I don't know, around 11? Maybe you stood up too fast. Yeah, that must be it. Man, how come there's always one with no mate? Oh god! Can we help you? Is there some emergency? No, but we found something really freaky in the woods that you need to see. Uh. Oh, you mean we gotta do actual work today? Whoa. Yeah, the woods west of town are getting a little crowded, so we came this way looking for a new hangout. And we found this hill just tore the hell up. Language. So, like, what is it? Hard to say, but you should definitely stay clear of this area until we find out. Tell your friends to do the same. Okay. I'm at a loss, bro. Some kind of fight? It's impossible to make out any tracks, if so. I can't imagine any of the kids that goof off here would be able to do this kind of damage, unless... Unless they're holding some kind of club for organized fighting. A fight club, if you will. Really? Hey! You guys narking on Fight Club? There's rules against that! What? Ah, uh, never mind. Fight Club theory goes in the maybe pile. Could it have been a stalagmite, do you think? You mean a stalactite, bro? What difference does it make? I think the ones that hang down are stalactites. The ones that sit on the ground are stalagmites. Well, whatever! Do you think it was one of the hangy down ones, then? Falling from that high up could probably make a pretty big mess of whatever it landed on. Shouldn't there be pieces of it laying around? Well, at least it was better than your club for fighting idea. Which is still on the maybe pile, lest we forget. Maybe your maybe pile. You know what we could do? We could get Dogami and Dogaressa out here to do some sniffing. They should be coming on duty soon, right? That's... a really... good... idea, Sans. Yeah. If we're going all the way back to town, though, I say we break for lunch. I miss breakfast and I'm getting a little hangry. That's hungry angry. That's not even a pun, that's just a stupid made up word. I think the results speak for themselves. Sir, a preliminary sweep of the area put six principal sets on the scene. Firstly, you. Uh, I- And you. Also, two snow drakes, female, age 15 and 17. One ice cap, male, age 15. Also of interest, the ice cap had recently eaten a peanut butter sandwich. Yes, and now we both have a serious peanut butter Jones. Huh. Me too, actually. It is spreading. Well, this was kind of a dead end, huh? Uh, looks that way. Not necessarily, gentlemen. As we said before, those were the results of our preliminary sweep. Yes, with more time, we can accurately assess smells days or weeks old. Well, get to it then. Work your magic. It is not magic, Sans. Merely a skill honed through years of... Oh! oh no! My vial of peppermint extract that I keep on my person at all times for secret reasons. It must have fallen from my pocket unintentionally. Pe pe peppermint Whole factory bulb! Shut it down! Too much minty! Well, that's bad luck. How long until you can smell again? It'll be weeks until we're fully recovered. Sorry. Hey, don't worry about it. Let's say I treat you two to some PB Sammies for your trouble. What's the point? It's just gonna taste like peppermint. Sans, when you said you were taking care of dinner, I didn't expect this. I don't know why I didn't expect it, of course. Who's Sans? Just call me Peanut Butter Jones. You could have just let me cook. Nah, bro. It's my turn. I mean, I think it was my turn about a hundred turns ago, but I'm lazy, so... Sans, I... Bro, it's fine. Just forget about it. I know I'm hard to live with. Huh. I think I'm remembering why I don't eat this stuff more often. Uh, well, that's what we get for letting me cook. Let that be a lesson to you. <sighs> you okay? Yes, of course. Just... This peanut butter is driving me crazy. Just dig it out of there with your finger, bro. That's what I'm doing. I can see that. Fine. Instead of eating the dogs, 
They were licking their chops for a good 30 minutes after they finished their sandwiches. Hilarious. They took you up on your offer? Yeah, you're lucky I smoothed things over. They were pretty peeved at you. Their eyesight isn't very good. You really did a number on them knocking out their smellers like that. That is unfortunate. I'll have to find some way to make amends for my clumsiness. Why'd you do it? I just told you. It fell out of my pocket in a moment of clumsiness. <laughs> and since when do you carry peppermint oil around with you anyway? Peppermint extract and, um, just in case I found myself in a situation in which a kiss seemed imminent. It's prudent to be prepared for eventualities like that. That's the biggest load of bullshit I've heard in a while. Oh, all right. I used that peppermint bomb on purpose, I confess. Why? Because, because, the truth is, the truth is, I'm the one who tore up that hill. I've been practicing there because it's out of the way and I don't have to worry about breaking anything. Is that true? I wanted to keep it secret. You know how those kids are. I'd have to find another spot if they found out I was there. So, what you're telling me is that when you say you're doing a night patrol, you're actually wandering out into the woods to goof around with your magic. I'm not goofing around, Sans. My brother's slacking off work. I'm doing no such thing. Bro, I've never been so proud of you. I want to shout it from the rooftops. You'd better not. And this is just the beginning. If you want, I can show you all the prime napping spots. You just say the word. I can show you a whole new world of underachievement. I don't have to sit here and listen to this slander. Seriously, this might be the best day of my life. Not even exaggerating. Say, if you don't have anything else going on, my contact at the dump came through with this. We could go through it if you want. Okay. I don't really know what you expect me to do. I can't keep them locked in their shed all day. No, actually, I can't. Of course I care! He's my brother, isn't he? Why do you think I called to ask about this? Oh, no. I know you're careful with him. I didn't mean to accuse you of anything, really. I just couldn't think where else he could have got... Huh? It can't be more than a couple days old. It's bad. His ulna must have snapped clean through. You can see the line. And there's a spiral fracture running all the way down. So careless. Curse my refusal to wear dirty clothes. I have no idea. That's why I called. He hasn't said anything about it, and I doubt he would if I asked him. Oh no, I'm worried too. How am I this obvious? And now I'm upsetting them for no good reason. There's nothing they can do. They're only safe as long as they're ignorant. Oh, hey, you okay? Not coming down with something, are you? I never... maybe? <laughs> What time is it? It's 8.30, bro. He must have slept a good nine hours. <clears throat> Remind me never to sleep on this miserable thing ever again. Never sleep on that miserable thing ever again. Thank you, Sans. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Undyne called. Wants to do some training this morning. I told her you weren't feeling well, but since you're up, it's your call, obviously. It's like that whispered conversation never happened. If I didn't know for a fact Sans was lying to me, I'd never be able to tell. I wish I was that good an actor. I suppose I'll simply need to practice. But regardless, I'm going to Undyne's. I have to keep up appearances, no matter what it takes. I really don't think this is a good idea. Look, Paps. I get you're still a little freaked out, but you gotta get back in the saddle. Hey! If you start getting scared of your own magic, you'll never get it under control again. I don't want to hurt you. <sighs> you won't hurt me, Paps. Come on. What happened to all that confidence you used to have? This sometimes happens, especially when you break out of a plateau like you did. You just have a little higher power level than you used to, and you need to get a feel for it. You know what you're doing. I trust you. I'm scared of my own magic. You're right, of course. That's a little more like it. Nothing keeps you down for long, Paps. If it makes you more comfortable, we can start with just me attacking and you defending, and go from there. Yeah? Yes, I can do that. <laughs> Alright, warm-up's over. 
I'm going to keep hassling you until you counter me. <laughs> I may as well have let it through! You can hit harder than that, man! Okay, focus. Nothing has gone wrong yet. I can do this. Too easy. Hey, Paps, if you're going to keep it up with these wimpy... Ugh, these wimpy attacks, you could at least make me blue or something. I want to get some kind of workout out of this, you know? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look. You're attacking like you're sparring with Sans or something. Give me some excitement for cripe's sake. Well, if you insist, I guess. I insist. Lay it on me, Paps. Remember to hold still until it's done. Ugh. Ugh. 200 times the Earth's gravity. Are you okay? Never better. Maybe Undyne was right all along. I only make it more likely that an attack will go wrong by stressing about it. I need to trust her. Break soon? Five more minutes. We still got some juice left, Paps. Keep it going. One last pattern. Something she can take while being this tired. Everything went wrong. <laughs>